Hi, hi, hi! Welcome back. This is going to be the third part reading of *A uh, Drunkard's Tale*, and we are here in the little town, not far from the main city, Mondstadt, and it's night time now. It's a beautiful atmosphere in the game. Colors are beautiful for every time of day, and that is the big city. Once that. So, okay, sit back down, Razor. <laughs> you, you good little boy. Good boy. And here we go. We're gonna read part three. This is a tale of a drunkard, one of the popular many tales told by the drinkers of Mondstadt. The drunkard is the one who told the lone wolf of an ancient story. Okay, here we go. Legends tell of a lone wolf that roamed the barren wasteland far, far away. Once he had been king of his pack, leading them in the hunt, in battle, and in the search for a home. Now the sole remaining legacy of those days were the scars that covered his body. He had led the way as they ran across open plains. Navigating through abandoned ruins and passed through the domains of monsters and silies. I don't know what silly, but let's continue. The wasteland was a cruel place. The wolf king grew older, and each passing day, the older wolves gradually dispersed. As time went by, the wolf pack's history faded into distant memory, until finally, oh. Only the old aged Wolf King remained, the sole survivor of the pack. Hmm. This wasteland is said to be a land beyond the dom dominion of deities, inhabited only by the grotesque ghostly remains of fallen gods, where the former palaces of the Sili now stand empty. So when the solitary old wolf passed by a grey palace and heard the sound of music coming from within, caught its attention. Never before have I heard a sound so pleasing to the ears, whether it be a song of bird or insect, that it stay the pangs of hunger in my starved stomachs as this tune does. Hmm. Intrigued, the wolf stepped inside the grey hall, trod across the overgrown weeds, and passed by a broken sarcophagus, one which a portrait of the deceased ruler was still clearly visible. Finally, he came to an inner room where he saw a fair maiden strumming at her instruments. Her skin was ashen white, and her head was bowed down. Her slender fingers gently stroked the fragile strings of the lute as she played a long forgotten and mournful melody. The wolf sat down in front of the pale young maiden and forgot all about the pain of hunger, thirst, and loneliness for a short while, as it listened in silence. To her song, the chirping of insects on a long gone autumn night is the chorus of exiles singing mankind's most ancient song as they live out the plight, stripped of all that the body once held close and the soul once held dear. Songs and memories are all that now remain of yesteryear. The last singers, the first Sully, they played the final tune in the Hall of Angels. A tiny Sully playing in the forests were also drawn to the young maiden's tune, flocked to her to pay their respect. What is this song that you play? The wolf asked, puzzled, for it understood Every line, every word, every syllable she spoke, and yet hers was a language that it had never heard before. 
quite unlike that of any other living being. A song of the silly replied the pale young maiden in soft voice. Long, long ago, we wrote this song for the human sav savages. Yet now we sing it to mourn our own fate. <sighs> the wolf began to sing along, albeit clumsily, to the maiden's tune. The wolf's voice was husky and broken, filled with lifetime of sorrow. What are you singing? The maiden asked of the wolf. This is our song, responded the wolf. It sounds ghastly. The maiden made no attempt to soften her criticism as she continued to caress the lute strings. But you are welcome to sing along with me all the time. And so a shared chorus sung by fair young maiden and weary old wolf filled the chambers of the long abandoned palace. It is said that to this day, adventurers who pass by this place still hear a strange yet harmonious melody sounding from within. And then the story ends. And then the story ends. The wolf licked his lips somewhat ruefully and then said, I suppose I shall tell you a story now. And with that, the wolf cleared his throat and began to tell its tale. Wow. It turns out to be what a lovely story. It's quite special. What a relationship of the old wolf and the young maiden singing together, but with different songs sounding differently, but at the same time act as a chorus. I enjoyed this series so far. Oh, I hope to find the fourth one, if there is a fourth one, and see what the wolf story is. What a wonderful read. Well, thanks for watching, thanks for joining in, and enjoy the rest of the day, or evening, or night, or morning, and this game, exploring the world, just have a good time. Thanks, thanks again, bye.